But uh, this is Greg Lentz from Hearts and Pants, Asheville, North Carolina. And then I've got my friend Kevin and uh, Taylor from here in uh, First Baptist Nation. That's right. And uh, he was our main partner in uh, Irma. Five years ago. Five years ago. I had this guy from North Carolina give me a call and say, y'all need help. And little did I know, saying yes to that, what it would begin in our partnership. I know. That was great. You guys, you guys over delivered through Irma. I, I don't know what, 16, 18 truckloads of supplies. And, uh, you know, Irma was a wind event. Right. Ian is a water event for us. Right. Light wind. Of course, the fourth of us, that probably everybody's seen the news reports, is absolutely catastrophic. And Greg, we've got a lot of pockets in our community that are low lying. And here's the bad thing they're also low income. Right. And so that's where we're putting a lot of our energies right now. Um, we sent out a bunch of teams. We did a big distribution here over the weekend, but we still had supplies. So we loaded up probably 50 cars and we sent them out and we're just praying God sent them to the right place. Listen to this story. Another great church in town, um, they, their ladies, they didn't have any supplies yet, but they just went out praying with people and taking their laundry to go wash it, right? And they, they said, and the people were like, man, we need food, we need water. And they said, we don't have it, but let's pray that God will send in the food and the water. I told them this story, God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Am I ruining the uh, I'm going to I'm I'm tell them what happened. Okay, 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 okay. You tell the rest of the story. So, so this other church is praying with people and asking God to provide for their physical needs of food and water, right? No joke. My wife's team comes down the street minutes after this prayer time ends, arms full of hearts with hand boxes, arms full of water, and they walk up and I'm telling you the water work started. Guys were the answer to that prayer within seconds. I mean, probably minutes, but within minutes, oh, I know. God sent our team behind them. And the cool thing is their pastor reached out to us and like, can you believe the story how God's, you know, and it's, it's the big church. I mean, just like you guys in North Carolina, like we're brothers because we're brothers in Christ. You know what, and that bonds us. And so that's just one story. Yeah. And the stories that are happening. Yeah. And so to go with that story, yeah. the boxes that came down here that they took, Right. We had just finished a mission conference in Rockville, North Carolina, yeah. and that little church packed all those boxes, right. and they prayed that God would give them a divine intervention, and then God would use them. And so we called them back. They're rejoicing on that end because they put the feet to it, the hands to it, and packaged it, not knowing where they would go. They end up here and answer for that lady's prayer. In, in hundreds of miles away from where they were packaged. So that's how it works. I mean, God is using all of us together, making a difference in the life of so many. We so many layers to this. I mean... And no you, one person can make it happen. It's only Lord. God. Only right. God. Yeah. But what it's doing, like, I've never got to interact with the Baron Collier baseball team. They're on my property and they're going, hey, we want to help. And Lance let it loose on them. You know what I mean? Like, you know what's happening there. And so, like, I'm telling you, not only are we helping people, but the, it's hitting our community. And as they're serving, God's given us opportunities to minister and partner. And listen, I mean, the governor showed up the other day, but the congressmen that are with him, we're leveraging now. We're getting truckload coming from places. I mean, it's just neat how God is working in this. And, um, you know, and we get to help thousands, thousands of people yeah. and make a difference in their life. And listen, and, uh, I know there's a lot of organizations that are a lot of top and they get their publicity teams out and they do a lot of chatter. What I love about Greg Lentz and Hearts With Hands, they're the real deal. They're the first ones on. Hey, man, bro. Yeah. For us, the work to get there.